I'm Anita Coleman and today is Sunday, May 12th, 2024 and I'm in the Garden of Grace, Southern California. In between a little light gardening, I am reading Dilemmas in the Study of Information, Exploring the Boundaries of Information Science by S. D. Neal. Neal was one of the founding faculty of the Graduate School of Library and Information Science at the University of Western Ontario. He talks about dilemmas of the subjective, the dilemma of the subjective in his first chapter in this book. And people ask me, why infophilia? And so this answers that question, is one of the answers. This is one of the answers to that question. Derwin started a good news newspaper because her research showed that people emphasized the good and hopeful uses of answers to questions. She designed info sheets for doctor's offices, for a school system, and a medical clinic. And that's infophilia, a positive psychology of information. What is infophilia? Infophilia, a positive psychology of information, is both a newsletter that I write every week, a Substack letter, and it's about the human love of information and connections, as well as a theory or framework of infophilia, the positive psychology of information, social, evolutionary, positive psychology of information that I'm writing, researching, and developing. <laughs>